Okie dokie. Coffee done. Main game screen time. Let's load up the game. I would normally have it loaded in the background because, but, but of course, Bedrock doesn't pause. You press the escape key like I normally would. Uh, I cap keyboard. Normally, normally would on Java while we're doing this. Uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't pause. Right. Uh, Alec Baldwin said he'd leave his bush collected. I remember that. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was particularly prevalent. Or maybe it was just easy to hear because of the way social media had progressed. Um, but it was particularly prevalent when, when Obama got elected sort all over social media. Okay, so where are we? What are we doing? Well, in our first uh, day, or stream day, several Minecraft days, I guess, we found a little village here. We got us all set up. We got some animals on the go. Uh, we got a nice little base happening. I think today we should work on basic stuff. Uh, I should complete my new roof. And I've been farming trees to do that. Uh, I haven't done any progress off stream. I'm, I'm going to try not to do any progress off stream on this world. Normally, you know, sometimes I'll do builds and stuff off stream, but the only thing I've done off stream is literally before stream here, I planted a few trees just to get some wood. That was it. Oh, and I put these shutters on here while I was waiting for the trees to grow. Um, also, I put these chests here, but that's it. I'm going to try real hard to make sure every every minute of actual proper progress is, is live streamed on this world because it is a uh, limited time survival world where we just get to the end game and by the time we get that done hopefully the Java cave update will be out of snapshot and we'll get ready on a new proper Java survival world long term so yeah we'll get the roof going um, we might see if we can make at least a section if this town's safe for villagers to roam around in so we can get those guys breeding up again for trades I do have two villagers trapped Elsewhere in the village, of course. Um, actually, you know what? One of the first things I'm going to do is see if I can get this guy to have a job. Because right now he's in Nitwick, I think, because I can't click on him. But what I'm thinking is, if we break down one side of his house, uh, or just move the door to this side, maybe, and bring a fence out through here, like clear up some of this dirt, bring a little fence out, give him a little garden, turn him into a gardener. Or a farmer, actually, you know. But we'll give him a little garden. Um, and we might get just a little bit of bone meal out of him as well if we do that. So, yeah, I think that'll, that'll be job number one today. So, you know what? Let's get started on that. Just clear out a bit of space here. Is this a dead village? No, it was it was very much alive when I got here. But then I spent a couple of days underground mining. And while I was down there, my entrance to the mine is just here. Uh, while I was down in the mine, all the cats are going into the mine. There's three cats down there. Uh, yeah, while I was in the mine looking for iron and uh, diamonds and stuff, I think a few nights passed up here and all the villagers, but the two I trapped, are dead. Uh, even the iron golem got killed. Because we did, when we found this village, it had an iron golem already. But no, this, this was a, a live village, but I neglected to make it super safe before I went mining directly underneath it. <laughs> My bad. But like I said, it's alright. we got a couple of villages trapped. We can bring it up again. It's not a disaster. Slightly annoying, but it's not a disaster. Alright. That should be... You know what? Let's, let's come back even further. Bring it back to the... Maybe the edge of this farm back here. I didn't kill it, the zombies killed it. <laughs> my neglect killed it. It wasn't me, it was my neglect. Alright, let's have a look here. How much fences do I have? Not many fences, but I do have some bunch of wood, so that's fine. And how many sticks? Fancy, fancy, fancy. Uh, yeah, that should be plenty. 
Um, we're not going to worry about giving them a negate because we don't want them to come in and out. But we will do the carpet thing. So if I need to get in and out, I can. I love the carpet trick. Okay, so let's... I can build out from there. Yeah. Actually, we're going to need to take this back another block so things can't jump off the grass over the fence. And I think we might sort of path outside it as well just for aesthetic's sake. Nice. So you need to get out of the way, Llama. Thank you. Come out this way on this side, just to make sure he's got plenty of farm to work with here. Maybe go up to that. Who's this? Go ahead. A little jumping cap it there. Boing. Oh, maybe not there's not the smartest place to put it because of the. Yeah. There we go. Now we can get it out. Um, I wish I had some lily pads. I guess we can just put a trapdoor over the water so the villager doesn't splash around in it like an idiot. have a compost bin? No, I already put the compost bin in front of the door, didn't I? We'll take that back in a second. Is the roof spawnable? Mm, no, I think it's all stairs. Yeah, all stairs. Mobs can jump down a roof. Yeah, sometimes, well, it depends on how high the roof is. Mobs will occasionally walk off an edge that will damage them if they're chasing something, but yeah. Can't spawn on stairs, so we should be fine. Uh, just speaking of mobs, actually, we might as well do our thing here. Start throwing some torches around on the fence. That's a bit off there. Aesthetically pleasing. Speaking, damn it. Speaking of mobs, let's sleep before they get her. Minecraft looks so good with OTX. Kind of funny how much it makes a difference. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's still Minecraft. Um, I'm very deliberately using a texture pack here, which is very, very faithful to proper vanilla Minecraft. But you can use high-res textures, of course. Um, but yeah, it's still very, very, very much Minecraft, but. The difference it makes to atmosphere uh, is wonderful. God damn it! Why can't I put this torch on the fence? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Um, we'll give him. How do I want to do this? Right, I think what we'll do is put the compost bin in the corner here. But we'll also put a hopper underneath it. Um, into a barrel or something underneath there, so we can collect whatever bone meal he makes. It's probably not going to be much bone meal, but it'll be a little bit. So let's make a compost bin and a hopper. I should have enough iron for a hopper or two, without feeling too stung by it. What am I looking for here? Metals. Yeah, we can we can make up for that. Have any chests? Do not have any chests. Okay. 
old school hopper construction there. Couldn't be bothered to find it in the thing. Oh, there it is. Um, actually, you know what? Let's make a hopper for the chicken farm as well, because I'm going to want to hopper up for those eggs at some point. Uh, what else while I'm here? Do -do 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 -do. How does one make a compost bin again? Slabs. Gonna need a few of those for the house anyway. And ooh, also. I'll use the barrel for the chicken farm too, because I just like how the barrels look. Plus, you don't have to worry too much about where the hinges like you do with the chests. Now, which way up shall we put this? Like that? Now the first try. Okay, do there. Ooh! Hang on a sec. Didn't even think about that, but the hoppers are all sort of dark metallic shiny. Ooh, they look good. I might not even bother trying to hide the hoppers this time. We've and we'll have the hoppers on show. I do other stuff anyway, but this one has to be in the ground because otherwise the village won't use that properly. Right, um, what we might do, I know it's kind of wasteful of space, but I feel like just aesthetically, we want to have a path around the farm as well, instead of filling it all up with farmland. This isn't supposed to be a productive farm, not worrying about this to make my burn mill. Just want it to look big enough to look like a farm. One, two, three, four, right there. And three on the... Oh, we're not quite symmetrical either. But we are big enough for one water source to service the whole farm, so that's fine. And... And I didn't bring my hoe with me, did I? Of course not. Why would I bring my hoe when I'm doing farming stuff? That would just be too sensible for Blunty to think of. Where my hoe's at? There we are. Never get tired of that joke. Always funny. Right, chat room? Always funny? Chat room? <laughs> Next question is, what shall we have him grow? Beetroots might be nice. They're not terribly useful for anything I want to do, but they are at least pretty when they grow, because you see that little splash of red. I'm pretty sure there's a beetroot farm around here somewhere we can steal some from. Over here, I'm pretty sure. Mm, nope. Oh, there they go. There they are. This little derelict farm over here. Two dogs says yes. Anthony says right, Bunty. See, told you. Always funny. I was about to leap over this fence there, but I realized I would have crushed the farmland if I did tried to do that. I've done this instead. What the hell? Oh, wait. I have to. This is one of those things I have to crush down the seeds first, isn't it? No. Wait. How do I plan to beat Red again? Or did I collect seeds all... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Pooks. <laughs> Reminder. It's like wheat. It drops seeds and beetroot. I did know that. 
I made that in the very first beetroot farm I ever made, didn't I? Just had to make a fucking sorting system in the collection side of things. <laughs> I hate sorting systems. Fucking redstone. Yeah, that's all we have for now. It's fine. The villager will do the rest. Um. Alright, so I can break this and he'll be fine if I let him out at this point, I'm pretty sure. Just gonna... Put it like there. No, I don't like that. One other side. Nah, it's overkill. Need something though. On the side of the house. Um, I'm gonna have to move your bed there, champ. Ooh. He instantly liked the fact that I let him outside. He sparkled green instantly. And he left the farm because I put the... He just he just left. <laughs> he just peaced out immediately. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Let's go get him. Where the hell did he go? Did he seek out the other villager? Son of a bitch, he just left! <laughs> uh oh. I mean, I broke his bed, so he probably sort of tried to seek out another bed and workstation. Um. All right, maybe if I ring the bell. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. <laughs> you fucker. Uh, look at that glisten on the farmer. Yeah, I was talking about that last stream. One of the, one of the nice little details. Um of the RTX thing is making wet farmland like or uh, saturated farmland look legitimately wet oh wait, I still can't get across that okay You stay put, and I'm going to fix my stupid, 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 stupid mistake. Alright, now you won't be able to hop out, will he? Just make this look like a design choice by doing this. Should be able to chain the fuckers in here. <laughs> I mean, we have chains now, don't we? Leads don't work on villages. Maybe we should have chains that work. <laughs> Just, oh, a ball and chain to limit their mobility so they can't jump up on blocks. Because a ball and chain would solve this issue perfectly. S stops them from jumping. Why don't you just put the composter over the water to hide it? No, well, because I wanted to use the composter to collect a bit of bone meal. And if I put it there, I'd have to bury a bunch of hoppers and stuff to do that. It was a, uh, a compromise between the usual sensible thing to do and hide the water under the composter, which is just the easiest trick, uh, versus just being able to grab a few bits of bone meal here and there. 
because um, yeah, in, th in this survival world, I'm not worrying about making huge automated farms or anything like that. It's just basically about getting to end game. This won't be a long-term survival world like we usually do. I'm just waiting for the snapshots to be done before we jump back into Java for that. But I did want to do a proper survival thing in, in RTX because it does make a lovely difference. Uh, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about like a proper big bone mill farm automated and everything. So anything we can scratch here and there is uh, useful. Right, so you're going to behave yourself. Son of a bitch. Oh, he got all pissy because he couldn't escape. <laughs> Where do you want to go, bro? He definitely doesn't have a job, does he? Like he's not he's not trying to get to a workstation somewhere else. He's just really desperate to get out of here, and I don't know why. Alright, let's give him a bed back. Maybe that'll solve our issue. I thought he disappeared again then. You gonna settle down, bro? Yeah, he just, he just wants to be over there. What was over there? Where did I find him? It was, it was like here, wasn't it? Maybe if I destroyed this, maybe he's trying to get to this. He decided that's going to be his workstation. Nope, still just sitting there at the corner. Dude. Get a job. Right, did I get that? I did get that. So use this to uh, turn that in. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just made a beeline for the exit there as soon as I broke that block. <laughs> you see him go? He wants out. Dude, just get a job. Um, don't have any glass, do I? I don't even have any sand. We should go get some sand to make a bit of glass. Uh, yeah, but sand, stone, but no glass. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's just get ourselves sorted here. Ooh, I picked up a second. Oh, I must have got that from a skinny. Uh, right, I think we're back to normal now. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I do need to remember to refill my bucket before that becomes a thing. Villagers are neat. He sure is. Uh, for the non-weebs in chat, N W -E T, neat, not in education uh, or employment. It's a Japanese thing. All right. What did I say I was going to do? All right. I'm going to get some sand. Where's my son? We got time. Did that. 
if that fits your waifu, you have yourself an anime protagonist. <laughs> That's enough sand for a few pieces of glass anyway, that's all we needed for now. Go eat some food, crack a beer, shall we return presently? McFish, we will breathlessly await your return. I right, promise not to do anything interesting till you get back. Hashtag not a promise. Why is there just one bit of Gravel right here. Weird. Still refuses to get a job. Um, can I make glass and a blast furnace? Always forget. Sure can't. Seems like you should be able to. It's literally that's how glass is made in the real world. A blast furnace. What are you so interested in over there? Pencilt. He's pining for the fjords. Um, all right, while I'm here, I do need to remake a shovel. I have no sticks left. Okay. Stop it. Get out of it! I could not put that block down for a second there. That was so weird. Also, stop with this. Nope, wrong. That one. Okay, G2G. So hopefully that villager. Ooh, baby cow. Hopefully that villager picks up a job before too much longer. I'm not sure what sort of cycle they're on in Bedrock, but in Java it's relatively quick these days, isn't it? Got everything he needs, though. Uh, or maybe Nitwicks can't get jobs. Because there's the base villager. Is Nitwick, does, is Nitwick considered, a, considered a job? God, I don't even remember. How does that work again? There's a thought. He might not be able to actually work. That'd be an issue. Although I do have another farmer over there, we can always just bring him in. Thinking Java Nitwits can't get jobs. Damn it, yeah. Well, he should still be able to breed, so if we bring the other farmer over. It'll be fine. Um, let's see, what was I doing? Oh, I was running a harvest. The sun goes down. Most of the pumpkins are starting to mature now, which is nice. Oh, actually, you know what? There's something I want to test. We'll keep one of these pumpkins. to test this. I guess right here will do. Um, mix 
like so. Actually, I'll put it in the other room for now. Yes, cool. Uh, right, so yeah, what I was trying to test there, and I very badly explained as I was trying to do it, uh, was trying to find out whether light comes out of just the face of a jack o' lantern, and it certainly does. Excellent. So, under the right circumstances, you can use that for certain types of directional lighting in decorative ways. Because, yeah, some shaders in Java can do that, I think, correctly. But I don't remember whether it worked in the beta of RTX last time we were in here. But cool. We'll uh, go ahead and... Yeah, it's definitely not picking up a job, is he? We'll just go ahead and pop that there for decorative reasons. Spots of seats, do I? No. Now then, let's go get my boat and fetch that other villager. And we should bring some dirt blocks to move around with. And what I might try to do is trap this guy inside so we can break this fence safely when we get the other guy over here. you in by opening your door? Go, 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 go. Gotcha. Alright, so... Pretty sure this guy was locked to this farm, but I probably shouldn't break that until we can get him across. Right, so what I'll do is let's prepare the road, chuck him in a boat. Don't matter, dirt already. God damn it. Right, what's the same? We'll check him in a boat. Bring him over here, drop down here, move him across here. Uh, yeah, I guess they're just, they're just bridge. him across here. Let's make it three wide just to give myself a big fat safety margin. And yep, clear path all the way to the farm and then we'll just bridge him across there. Easy peasy. And I'm going to need at least one more bit of dirt though. What could possibly go wrong? Dead engineer, how you doing there? Right, now, um, what's the safest way to do this? Oh! That was a bit stupid. No! No! Don't die, please don't die! fuck's sake. Yeah, Java boats, um, they move a bit differently. Release me! Yeah. 
Because you're definitely setting yourself up for difficult, 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 and then difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I love that quote. What was that from? Was that Adventure Time? Difficult, 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 lemon difficult. What was that from? I can't remember. I know the quote, but I can't remember where it was from. Have they slowed boats down when you're going across land, by the way? This feels quite, quite slow. So it looks like he hasn't dropped his job yet, which is, I don't know whether that's good or bad for us. Okay, so, diddly diddly dee. We broke his workstation, what I think was his workstation. It's where he caught him anyway. He's over here. He is still listed as a farm. Oh no, but he's locked in as a farm already, isn't he? Because uh, we traded with him at least once. So unless a cycle goes by without his workstation, he should still stay a farmer. Is he going to go straight to work? Also, I've just realized what he has in his inventory probably isn't beetroot either. So we'll see if he does a mixed plant. Doesn't really matter because this is not a farm for us, but it'll be interesting to see. Oh, he's all, he's all angry. Why is he angry? We should get a second bed. Um, and he's all out of sorts, isn't he? So each of you has a bed now. Only one of you has a tool station there because the other one goes a nitwit, but hopefully you make some babies soon, eh? Right, glass should be done by now. Let's make a window. Well, that's interesting. I can't see the glass in my inventory. I guess I've got a special super duper clear glass pack on. I do like the way the glass actually properly reflects and refracts, even while it's in my hand, though. I love that. Right. Um, had to be glass panes. We also can't see those. Oh, we had some green sparkles there. That's promising. Doesn't appear to be planting anything yet, though. Um, let's get back over to where we caught him. So he might be linked to a different station. It's close by to where we caught him. Where did we catch him? Right, it was right here. Did I see? Yeah, he might be linked to this one. It was definitely this farm he was hanging around though, so I'm assuming this is what he was linked to. Yep, there we go. He just composted something. I heard it. Funny, I heard him composting something, but I can't see anything in the barrel. Maybe that's an RTX thing or a bedrock thing or just this pack, but normally you can see stuff. Let me try. Yep, no, we can definitely see stuff. Could have sworn I heard him use it though. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh wait, no. 
Maybe that's just slow growing. I think I did that one myself. All right, let's leave these leave these guys to it. We're about to go through another day night cycle, so hopefully you'll pick up a job linked to that particular uh, word I'm looking for is composter. All right, where are we going to put glass? I'm going to put glass in crystals. I wish that was easy to see, though. Lovely. All right, actually, we need to get that glass back out and put the windows in my place now. Maybe he didn't create a layer with one item. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're not guaranteed a compost layer every time you put an item in, are you? It's, yeah, different items have different uh, roles, basically, whether or not they turn into composts. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Good thought. Pooks. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not one-to-one, -one, is it? Different items compost more efficiently than other items. There you go. Can't see it, but I know it's there now. Maybe we should put some colored glass in later. That way when the sun shines through, everything looks really cool. Not that we're going to see these windows for long, because I'm going to put bookcases all around the corner here, but <laughs> whatever. Um... Speaking of bookcases, we should run another harvest on the uh, cows and such. Or breed cycle, I should say. Although, they're pro probably ready for a harvest at this point. Getting pretty thick in there. What are you all gathered around? They all want to be in that one spot for some reason. Bedrock is weird. All right, that's probably everybody. All right, let's cull the herd a bit, shall we? That feels about right. back. Man, didn't get much leather from that. Three pieces of leather from what? Five or six cows? Jeez. Oh, well, got my food at least. Are you doing your job? Hasn't planted anything new yet. Or we'll harvested for that matter, but... Maybe I'll make some bread and throw on there just to... Can they breed with beetroots? Or is it just bread? I always use bread. Um, right. How much leather do I have? Man, I've got bugger all leather. Well, might as well make a start on the books. And I need some... Plankaroonies. And we are officially started on the enchantment station. Well, started powering it up. It was already here, but now it's now it's now we're cooking. You know what I want to do actually? Do we have we do have one more barrel? I'm going to put a barrel in front of this and put the lapis down there so we don't have to always hunt for it. Which way? Nope, that's wrong. Don't like that either. This is the way. Alright, where's my crystals? Be naps. There we 
you know, you know what? I'm going to put the other enchanted books we have as well in there. All right, just for funsies. Let's see what we can do here. I can have smite, sharpness. I can have unbreaking efficiency. There we go, unbreaking. Unbreaking two, efficiency two. Fuck me. Not bad for one book on the table. Thank you very much. Um, right, what's next? What's next? What's next? We got these guys on the go. Still trying to get somewhere else, but oh, oh, oh! I think that is freshly planted. I don't remember that being new growth. God, so I should have paid more attention. Maybe I should have just rip that up and put some fucking wheat in there. Come on, babies, you should add a third bed. Ah, right. All right. I think there's a bed in this house. I'll just steal this one. Nope. also do is make a little one wire one block high escape route for the baby to go somewhere I'm unsure about this baby thing I'm just gonna give him seeds oh 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 Did I just see the nitwit plant? Oh, there we go. What are they throwing? Can't see them throwing any objects to one another. Well, that's proof of concept at least. Why aren't they planting anything though? my home? I do still have my home. We've got some trampled farmland here. Why aren't you planting anything? Weirdo? Oh well, um... Maybe Baby there will become a better farmer. Just because he's got the farmer's skin on. And he definitely has an empty inventory after all. So. Yeah. Let's. Let's just plant two rows. Of our own. That way we can monitor exactly what's going on. Oh. Now he's on the way. See I taught him how to do it. That's beetroot though, by the looks of things. That's fine. We've got wheat and beetroot in here, sure. We'll see what happens. Pretty 
pretty sure they would have picked up some beetroot seeds when I was picking up the other stuff too, because I certainly didn't collect it all. Okay, so now those guys are on the go. It's all good and happy. Next thing I want to do is we'll collect some more wood and finish off my roof. Because, yeah, this is, uh, this is not good. This is no way to live. Rain getting on my enchantment book and everything. Psh, it's just unprofessional is what it is. Uh, I'm going to need a new axe before I'm done, though. soon too. I'm not burning through that iron. Have a whole stack of sticks in my inventory? Oh, so I do. <laughs> I know, my precious wood supplies. That is neat. Actually, we should make a start on that zombie farm too. That'll get us a few nuggets of iron we can use to make lanterns with rather than digging into my own supply yeah we'll finish the roof and then we'll find that zombie spawner and get that on the go <laughs> sorry pooks i know i'm a constant disappointment to you but How many times do you reckon I've done that? How many times have you seen me do that alone, Pooks? Let alone when I've done it when no one's watching. Make a big old stack of sticks when there's already sticks in my inventory. It's twice today already. <laughs> oh dear. This tree grew in weird. Get them all? Nope, missed one. It's two. It's one of the more subtle things RTX does, by the way. I don't know whether you're picking up on it, guys, but when you're looking up at wood under a tree like this, there's a good example of it, you can see the light coming through the leaves and reflecting off the leaves gives that log just the slightest hint of green in the reflected light. Look, more sticks. Jank. Um, 
look, if you if you want to hang out in the stream, it's fine, but we talk like grown-ups around here for the most part. So if you're looking for some sort of wacky do reaction to your wacky hijinks there in chat, uh you, you're in the you're in the wrong channel for that, mate. But if you want to talk like a person, feel free to hang out and chill, man. F5 has occurred, though I've given the loading time, but I don't have high hopes. Wait, what? Let me read backwards. Gonna need to. Oh, reload the stream. Chat, this is one of the things I say about 15 seconds before I hear you say it. Haha. <laughs> Out of sync. How are we doing? That's a fair stack of paper. Beautiful. Definitely don't have any planks, right, Pooks? I mean, I've got that, but that's not enough books. Uh, oh, I need leather anyway, so never mind. Leather is the big issue right now. Yep. I wonder if there's a uh, resource pack equivalent to the one I used in Java, where I can just bake up rotten flesh and turn it into leather. That was so useful. One of my, one of my favorite uh, resource packs for Java is just being able to cook rotten flesh into leather. It shortcuts so much tedious grind with cows. Okay, Dex. Inventory clean. Let's grab these back. Grab that. Grab that. Do I need any logs? No, I think we're all just stairs and planks, aren't we? Alright, so let's make a bunch of planks. Let's make a bunch of stairs. Can't imagine we're going to need more than that to finish off the route. Right, now this is the whole reason I put this here, so I can go boing boing. Right, so it looks like we're just pretty basic here. Uh, I guess I do need a few blocks after all. Until you start piglin trading it, and you'll be swimming in leather. Oh yeah, that's right. They they give leather, don't they? I do have my portal, and I have spotted a few piglin already. A nice little area for them, and I can should be able to trap a few in. But yeah, we're not quite there yet. Uh, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Done it again. Sorry, Pooks. What's wrong with me today? I mean, usually I'm pretty bad about that stuff, but today especially. I'm just all kinds of derp. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I did I did not actually sleep very well last night. I legitimately didn't sleep very well. I've been up since uh, about 2 a.m. Unable to sleep. Uh, been kind of dozing, but not sleeping. Right, hang on a sec. Did they do the thing in Java where you can't slide off? Yeah, you can't slide off. Yes, you can slide off stairs when you crouch. You can't do it sideways though. Also, I should start on the other side, otherwise my little gangway plank up there is not going to work very well for me for long. It's, it's, it should be just flat out planting all of that by now. I don't know what's wrong. It's weird. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, this will work. There we go. Funny, because you can't actually slide off these when you're crouching. Whoops. It's pretty 
pretty painful to watch. Well, that's part of my charm though, isn't it, Pooks? That's why you come, so you can feel superior. Let's do this again. Missed it. Let's try it this way. Yoink! There we go. First strats. It's probably not going to place properly if I do it like that, but we'll fix it. Man, I miss scaffolding. <laughs> I say come from sarcasm. Yeah, I'm good at sarcasm. No, oh, damn it. It's hard to drop onto those. jump that. Sure can. Don't even need to jump, actually. Can I reach slightly further in Bedrock? I feel like I wouldn't have been able to place that block in Java. I remember that being a thing in Pocket Edition way back, but I thought they retracted it when we got to Bedrock Bedrock. An issue there. And I think we're consistent. Yeah, oh, nope. I think it was that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember back in Pocket Edition, they made that concession because movement on the Mobile Edition was just such a nightmare anyway. So they gave you a little extra grace room with reach. But I thought once they bought Bedrock across the console stuff, they might have pulled that back again, but I guess I was wrong. Imagine that. Blunty was wrong about something in Minecraft. Incredible. Hardly ever happens. Yeah, I was going to watch to see if he could find a way in there. I don't think he can. Pretty sure he can. Uh, yeah, they're just, they're not planting anything new. Maybe they just don't have enough seeds. Um, let's see. Are you going to want these seeds? Oh, you definitely sucked them up. Yep, there he goes. That was the problem. Just didn't have sufficient seeds to get going. Okay, Dex. Oops, I guess that's stem. You and you. Movement on phone is still terrible, yeah. But they are compatible with controllers at least now, right? Once they started calling everything Bedrock, one of the things they did was make it controller compatible. In fact, yeah, they definitely were, because it's one of the things... Minecraft was one of the games I tested when I got that Razer Kishi controller, mobile controller, in for review. Works great, actually. Feels very, very similar to playing it, like, on the Nintendo Switch or something. Thanks for the carrot, bro. And of course, phones are much more powerful than they used to be, so Minecraft actually... It's pretty playable on mobile these days, as long as you have a controller and a decent phone. It's not the nightmare it used to be. 
still the worst place to play it. Just because. <laughs> but at least it's not a literal nightmare anymore. Hands up and chat. Anyone playing Minecraft on mobile these days? Right. Um, back to the roof. This time I shall get the actual planks out so Pookie doesn't have an aneurysm. <laughs> Put a layer of planks up top here as well because this is obviously quite spawnable. Oops. Make some machine meat slabs. Ah, of course I do. Man, I really needed that sleep last night, didn't I? I could have really done with more sleep. Jeez. Super derpy today. Oh well, nothing for it but to lean into it. And it into comedy. Genshin, yeah, I'm, I'm still annoyed Genshin still hasn't included uh, physical controller support on the mobile version. Not that I've been playing Genshin lately, because I'm just stuck in doing other stuff. But I still can't believe they haven't included it. They already have a control system. They use it on the other platforms. Why won't they just put it into mobile? I have no idea. Such a weird decision. Alright, is there a way I can get down safely? Let's try the old water jump trick. Took a slight amount of damage there. Didn't quite nail it. Alright. And we indeed had more than enough for our needs. We're going to need more of those eventually. Anyway, we've done the stuff, so it's all good. Ooh, it is quite dark in here though, isn't it? How are we going to play? Oh man, that, that corner looks all kinds of atmospheric. <laughs> right, so let's see here. How do I want to do my lighting? I am going to go central to every window. That should be plenty to keep mobs away. I'm going to switch those out for lanterns at some point as well. I might hang a lantern directly above this once I get enough material for chains and whatnot. But for now, that'll do. Alright, let's see if we can get some trades with these farmers. I've got plenty of melons and a small stack of pumpkin at this point. crafting table is here so I can do that. I might grab some trapdoors for the water in the middle of this uh, these two farms as well. So slightly not having to step around them all the time. Oh, Christ, he's in the composter again. Ah, whatever. Um, all right, you're not doing melons yet, are you? We need wheat for you still. But we're very close to unlocking you, so that's not a problem. Don't harvest with your axe, that's wasteful. Give those guys whatever seeds I've got left from this planting as well. Make 
Miss the back corner of the stairs. Oh yeah, so I did. How did I manage to do that? Thank you. I didn't mind the asymmetry, but that's just one spawnable space there waiting to happen, isn't it? You know, what, I did make this world as uh, as joinable by multiplayer. Maybe I should just invite you in and have you fix all my mistakes, Pooks. Just run around behind me fixing everything I fuck up. <laughs> I missed the other one too. So I did. Had one guy grow up and another baby come across already. Nice. Uh, I forgot how amusing that sound is. I normally drop a stack, drop a stack at a time, and I don't hear this. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Got some seeds for me too, bro. Got any more of them seeds? Um, no, I don't. Sorry, mate. You tra no, you're the nitwit, you're not tradable. You're the guy I'm after. Grabs that, and there we go, level two. So we need to get level three for that, so hopefully... Yeah, that's going to take us a little while of pumpkins. But that did unlock you there again. Or did it? Cool. Wait, are you but you grow up to be a nitwit? Out of bed. Not done with you yet. Um Woof! We maxed him out there. Look at that. Alright, what's your max? You've got blistering melons for me. Cake, suspicious stews, and cookies. That's cool. Let me just want you for all right, you're still locked out there. Wait, I didn't say you're locked out there. Bread? Ah, 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 get up. That's weird. It's it does like it's not crossed out. Oh wait, no, I see what the problem is. I don't have enough pumpkins. I'm an idiot. Wasn't paying attention. That was pretty easy to max out, actually. Normally that's a bit of a shit for- Ooh, ooh, how did you get out? Is one of these windows not glassed up? Ah. Uh. Okay. How did you escape? Inquiring minds would love to know. Well, while we've got him in sight, we need to put him somewhere safe. Can't have you wandering around out here.
Maybe he was born outside the fence. Like maybe when he spawned, he just happened to be like the guys were just happened to be standing near the fence and he popped on the other side. I see anything I can imagine. Nothing there. Uh, you know, what, I'll just leave him in the boat. I was going to set him free in there, but there's no real reason not, not to leave him in the boat. Let's just protect him. Put a marker there so I know what I've done. Now then, how did you even get out? We definitely, 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 definitely have glass in these windows, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, can't hop up on the fence in the corner. Can't shortcut across that corner, can you? I mean, I can if I jump. Weird. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is somehow when he was born, he popped over the fence. Well, it looks like they're making it think they're jumping down off this and ruining that. Well, I'll keep an eye on it, see if it happens again. Might just be a fluke. Uh, just finished Bioshock Infinite for the first time. Never actually played that. I tried to play the first one because my housemate had it. I gave it a go, and it's just like, eh. But then again, I've never been that into the horror theme stuff anyway. I mean, Bioshock isn't proper, proper, proper. It's kind of horror inspired in many respects, and I don't know, it just didn't, didn't click with me. Oops, so easy. My bad. Shocks more than some of those parts. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but like I said, when I carried it, just didn't just didn't click with me. Sometimes it happens. Like even Minecraft doesn't click with everybody. Which reminds me, I'm gonna talk to Ali again, see if I can talk her into doing a multiplayer Minecraft with me, because she still has never properly played it. I tried to organize a thing where I, we were gonna do a uh, multiplayer world together, either live streamed or pre recorded or something. Just make a little mini series out of it, me teaching her how to do Minecraft, but kind of never happened because of. I don't remember exactly why, but things got in the way. Maybe I'll pitch that idea to her again. Because she was talking about it on a stream yesterday when I raided her. Or Friday, I think it was, anyway. She doesn't stream. Saturdays. Right, uh, let me go clear my inventory. The next thing I want to do is organize my chickens. See if I can get them into a, a single spot and pop a hopper under them. But before I do that, let's clear the inventory properly so I can start from a blank space. Actually, maybe I should get mining next. Just have to burn through these tools. I don't have much iron left. All right, chickens first, then maybe mining. Cool. Clean inventory, clean mines, good to go. Now then, I am going to want upper. I am going to want. What happened to the. Oh! I used it, didn't I? It's over there. I was going to say, I made another barrel for it. But it went away. Wait, what? 
Oh, sticks. Why do I always think barrel is planks and slabs? Maybe it's from a mod pack. Just doesn't seem very intuitive to make a barrel out of sticks, but I guess it does. The sticks serves as the, uh, what are they called in barrel making? Staves? Any barrel making dorks in chat? Make this staves. Uh, okay. Where was I? So that into that. And we might want to bring some fences to pen them in with. Possibly glass. Fences or, yeah, I'm gonna use fences. Seems like we're, getting, we're, we're going rustic. These builds, so. Wait, where did I put my chickens? It's slabs all through a round on Java now. It used to be six slabs, two planks, way back in 1.14. Okay, so they, I'm, I'm not I'm not an idiot. They just keep changing it. I see. Well, I am an idiot, but they also keep changing. Okay, let's see here. Um, how do I want to do this? I think what we'll do is just jam them all into this corner here. And we'll go ahead and put the barrel right here. Like that. Yeah, like that. So we can sort of open that door up and get the eggs. That seems kind of natural. Hey, got a volunteer already. And another one. <laughs> Shove. Now, where's my seeds at? Let's bait the gang into the corner. Actually, we should have these ready next to it. That'll make life easier. Okay, this will be tricky, but as long as we get at least... Oh, hello, chicken. What are you doing outside? As long as we get two, we should be fine. Click, 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 click. Nope. <laughs> I can't put the fence. There we go. Got two. Right. That should pick up most, if not all, of the eggs. Let's do I can't seem to breed that other one. Alright, do 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 Um, you know what? Let's do this so I don't punch these chickens in the face trying to throw the eggs down. Or I can't I place that one. There we go. One one. One from 13. That's pretty bad odds. Uh, do, 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 do. What I also might do is if we put block, say, there, uh, these other ones might wander into there. Just like that, actually. Beautiful. Oh, but they also can get out. before we get ourselves into trouble here.
Uh, one of the barrel mods I've been playing with calls for two iron ingots, planks, and slabs. That's fairly literal, isn't it? Because you do need iron to hold it together. Why are you sparkling, nitwit? He's happy about something. stage. Whoops. Uh, nope, need that one. Alright, that should be all fine. Um, surplus to use. Superfluous to use. And I just heard an egg pop, and sure enough, collector runies. Sweet. Now we can just throw these against that fence. Right. Um. Good from here, I think. Chickens on the go. Okay, it looks yeah, that, uh, I thought so. We're not collecting all the eggs possible, but again, that's fine. I'm not looking for supreme efficiency here, just as long as it works. I guess I could replace the bottom row of this with glass blocks, which would keep them into the central port, but meh. Not too worried about it. The trick to Bedrock Minecraft is to not try and get too anal about efficiency because the mechanics of this game will fuck you over anyway. Not that Java's that much better, but still. If you get too obsessed by it, you'll get frustrated by it. And then you'll end a livestream series saying fuck Java and everyone to play, oh, fuck Bedrock and everyone to play Bedrock again. That's gotten better over time, though. It'd be hard for it to get worse, though, wouldn't it? Okay, these are our planters. Don't know whether you can hear it, but say hi to the garbage truck outside. Hydraulics are struggling a bit on that truck, actually. Sounds very bad. Okay, let's see here. Weapons, thank you. No lights. Wait, the lights didn't work for Garbo? Lights aren't working. I tested them this morning. Yeah. I guess the Garbo command broke. Weird. <sighs> Can't have nice things. Too many worse breaks. Almost halfway to our first stack of emeralds already. Can't be sad about that. Okay, plenty of food. I might want to do another stack of torches. There's my lumpy stuff. Let's make some... I can't make charcoal out of planks, can I? I need to make it out of logs. Alright, I guess I'll skip that for now. We'll keep those on, like, in the cave. 
So I had my unbreaking efficiency axe there. Uh, shovel is good. I'm not going to need the axe downstairs. Nor will I need the... Okay, you. And we'll bring just a little bit of dirt, just in case we get ourselves into trouble with lava or something. All right, let's go see if we can find some more iron. Yeah. Check the oh, check the furnace. I mean, yeah, I don't want to take the stuff from the furnace just to make more torches. I got torch and I'm enough to get us going, but uh, I will take that meat while I'm here, though. But yeah, we'll, we'll find enough. Right, I forgot the cats are gathering down here. <laughs> oh yeah. I also forgot this is a slime chunk. Would have hoped the slimes are a bit more translucent. Uh, in RTX. I'm not sure whether I'm going to need slime for anything, but if we ever do need a sticky piston, it's nice to have it. Okay, let's see. What I might do, instead of poking around the caves, I'll start a branch. Yeah, here we go. We'll, we'll punch through here. I'm going to start a classic little branch mine, see what we can find. Super duper wish you could dual wield torches. Yeah, it's in line already. And I just heard a witch. Ah, two pieces. Okay, let's just be real careful about how we push forward. We seem to be at a lava lake level. Yep. What was that? Saw something move over here. Uh, and yeah, the, the lava will appear rather bright at first because there's adaptive exposure. So when I'm in the darkness, it lifts the exposure just a little bit. So I'm not in complete amount of darkness, which is what happened in the beta of the RTX thing, but it made it very difficult to do anything in anything but the world lit rooms. Uh, so they made it slightly adaptive uh, exposure. So when you first come across lava, it'll be real bright. And that'll just adjust down for you once you fill up more of your eye socket with it. Not sure I love how that works, but it is at least better than the other way around where, like at this point in the beta, you just, you just be seeing black. Just be nothing. Ooh. That just looks cool when it glows in a little corridor like this. Last time I found it, it was in the open and already lit up by lava and stuff. That's a nice blue. Ooh. 
Lovely. Just be mindful, I do still hear that lava. Diamond vein. Maximum diamond vein. On diamonds, but I'll take it. To initially two torch emit by dual wheel torches. Torch emit torch in both hands? No. So one of the one of my favorite things to do when we're branch mining in Java is you put a torch in your offhand. So that means when you dig dig dig, you can just right click against the wall and it'll throw a torch down. Instead, I have to scroll, turn, click, scroll back, and it's just awkward. It just it breaks the flow of what branch mining is like in Java when you do dual wield with a torch. And I was talking about this a couple of days ago when we were streaming this. I don't know why they refuse to put it in here. They know the community wants it. Again and again and again and again and again, the devs have been told, hey, why don't you just let us dual wield torches for fuck's sake? Or, you know, everything else we can dual wield in Java, because there's more than that. But torches are by far the most useful thing. I mean, they have the slots, it's in here, but all you can put in there is a shield and a map and there's one other thing, I think, a shield and a map and something, but yeah, you can't, you can't drill wield anything else useful. And it's so annoying. Totem, thank you. That was the other one. Yeah. Totem of Undying. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, po uh, uh, potion arrows and shit like that as well. That was the other thing. So yeah, I mean, it's not like it's not built into the code. They have... Why is there a slight green tinge to this? Is that andesite? Yeah, andesite. Has a very slight green spottiness to it. Lovely. There we go. Nice big healthy vein of iron there. Actually, let me put me iron in my salt there so I can keep track of how much we find them. Not much so far. Okay, that should be more than enough to make that stack of torches I was looking at. And certainly is. In fact, it's exactly enough. 
precisely enough with no leftovers. Oh wait, three leftovers there. It's getting snarry there. Being a bit stingy on the diamonds though. I'd forgotten how relaxing branch mining is. It's kind of that rhythmic soak into it kind of thing. I never really look forward to branch mining. Oh, I'm going to go branch mining and find a bunch of coal and iron and whatnot. Then you get into it and you go, oh yeah, it's chill. Slumpcock can run Minecraft nowadays. Already missing my main rig. <laughs> so I figure I get on and do a bunch of stuff in the work server. Pretty much only ever done basic survival builds. Recommendations for auto farms and such. Uh, well, I'm not the auto farm expert. But when it comes to auto farms, one of the first things I do is usually a chicken farm. So I have a supply of easy meat and feathers for arrows and such. Plus, they're quite easy to build. Um, bone mill farm can be pretty handy too, if you've got a bit of bamboo or sugarcane handy. Sugarcane bamboo and the chicken farm cooker are my go-tos. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I should have been more specific. The auto cooker chicken farm is very, very good. Can be a little bit flaky sometimes, depending on the design, but... And which version you're building in. <laughs> but yeah, as far as getting set up with sort of basic essential elements, cooked chicken, feathers, all from one farm... Uh, really, very, very, very useful early game. Unusual to see gold and iron right next to each other like that. How much gold was that? Any six blocks? Psh. Uh, the one I've been using uh, the last year or so on Java seems to work pretty well. Yeah, the one I built in our last Java world, I you know, I built it using someone else's design, but it just was never 100% consistent. Um, oh yeah, basic mob farm is always a good place to start too. Especially if you're enchanting stuff. Found some water. Alright, the question is, is that water from a cave? Hard to tell. Seems like it might be just an underground water. Uh pond. It is, however, going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, okay. so it's just a little, little underground puddle. There we go. 
We should be good now. Yep, we're fine. Basic mod foam you should be getting lots of arrows. Yeah, that too. I prefer a skelly spawner for arrow production though, rather than relying on a mob farm, which is a little bit less than consistent. When it comes to mob farms, I strongly prefer spawners. Speaking of which, we do need to get to that zombie spawner today as well. Once I get a bit more iron, possibly some more diamonds. Well, worth the effort to increase rates on your mob spawner. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I like the. Uh... Hang on a sec. Let me read back. Take some time, try and hunt down the local caves, get them lit up. Oh, we did that when I found it. Like the spawner I found was in caves we were exploring. So, a fair whack of the caves surrounding it are already lit up. Probably didn't get 100% of it, but should be enough to get it reasonably efficient. We'll take another poke around once we're down there, but yeah, we found it while exploring the caves. Yeah, skelly spawners are always my favorite. Tons and tons of bone mill for farms and tons and tons of arrows, so you never have to worry about crafting arrows ever again. Feathers are not so bad. It's the uh, flint that's the annoying part of making feathers. Uh, arrows, I mean. Because there is no highly efficient way to get flint. Or actually, no, there never used to be, but... Ooh, why was that light pop? That was a light glitch that might have indicated some diamonds nearby, maybe. Nope. Not quite. Something around here that's making the RTX pop out a bit. I don't think it's this coal. Although there is quite a lot of coal here. Ooh, there's some red up there as well. You've got red on you. Name that movie. Ah, that's that. That'd be what was causing that little lighting glitch. This stuff trying to leak through the wall. Lovely. Ooh, well worth coming to find it too. Oh, it's been two hours already? Alright, should take a break soon. Fortune's around a shovel guarantees flint every broken gravel. Yeah, but I mean, it's still a manual process. With the feathers, it's, you know, completely automatic, just happens. And if you're if you're playing a world where you're sort of automating as much as possible, having to smash down gravel just to get uh, enough flint for arrows, it's just always a bit tedious. Do I pick it up? Um, wait, do Piglin, Piglin have a flint trade now, don't they? That could be one way to automate it slightly. I think flint is one of the things they drop these days. But, you know, to get to that point, you need to have a hyper-efficient gold farm. 
to make the Piglin Trades Auto. So I guess you can get there, but not, not early game when it's useful. And usually probably not before you found a Skeleton Spawner anyway. Pretty sure they do though. I'm trying to remember back to my the um, nether base we built. Pretty sure one of the things I had to sort away from my auto trader was Flint. Every time I emptied his box. Man, I'm halfway through this. Uh, I'm breaking to pickaxe already, and we are just not even at a stack of iron. And zero new diamonds. Disappointing. Have a village of breeding or an iron farm. Those are definitely worth your time. Oh yeah, definitely. Iron farms are fantastic. Relatively easy to set up these days too. I mean, the mechanics are a bit more complicated than they used to be, but actually getting the iron farms set up in the first place is a bit more straightforward, resource-wise at least. Tower, cow breeder killer, and he doesn't sell ours on the server. Some of the others have iron farms and such that I can rent. Nice. I've never actually played on a multiplayer server like that, so I've never had to share resources and things. Which is why I don't sort of sweat efficiency very much in, in my builds, because, you know, it's just me that's serving. I don't have to make or share resources for trade on a multiplayer server. This mine is resource poor. I haven't played single player Minecraft in probably five years. Yeah, but you, you like. Oh, shit. Jeez, that was close. You like literally manage your multiplayer server, though, don't you, Pigs? Or at least help. You're all in on the multiplayer. Yeah, you're on. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought about setting this world up on a realm, but then I remembered the way they do realms these days is uh, through that subscription thing. It's like, hey, you get a realm, but you also get to access these skins and these stupid marketplace worlds. And it's just, it's not what I would call value. Plus, there's no way to just, like, pay for three months of it. It's like they set it up on an ongoing subscription and hope you forget to cancel it. Which is always sleazy. Oh, you got 50 members on your server. Wow. Due to recruit soon. Recruiting for a Minecraft server. I mean, I get it. Just It sounds weird when you say it out loud. recruitment drive for the Minecraft server. Just one of those things that boomers would never understand, you know? Sir, what? Ooh, hello. Finally. Oh, bloody hell, it's a nice big stack of them too. Hey, and some more iron. 
Look at that beautiful blue glow. Oh, it's a pretty, pretty sight. Oh, and more iron back here too. Yay! And I was just about to turn back in defeat as well. Oh, bloody hell! <sighs> Alright. What the hell? Really, Minecraft? Oh, I see. <laughs> Wait, what? Why won't that water spread into that lava anymore? There we go. That's all I wanted from you. Bedrock is weird. <laughs> all right, let's just be real careful. Keep an escape route in mind. See if we can find the source of that lava and shut it down. Looks like we might have a lake of it behind us. I think that's the most important part of it gone, so we can get to the diamond safely. Nope, not quite. a big old deep lake of it. Um, let's do this so I can sneak around here and sneak that one under there. There we go. Now we should be free and clear to harvest these diamonds nice and safe. And that, kids, is why when you find diamonds, the first thing you do is dig all the way around them. So you don't risk losing a single one in a puddle of fiery misery and regret. This stuff I'm not too fussed about. Uh, yeah, the glowing all really looks good. It's not actually default in this pack. So let me show you what we got going on here. Because we haven't talked about this today. Uh, where are we? Resource packs. So, um, the standard pack I'm using is Kelly's ITX Vanilla Conversion, which is just like vanilla, but with little lumpy bits and shiny bits here and there to make it all look RTX-y. Uh, I've also got an optional add-on for clear glass, an optional add-on for clear water, and an optional add-on to make the ores glow. And the only part of this I don't like is that, as you've been seeing, it makes the coal glow a very dim white so it almost looks like iron half the time. You could easily mistake that for iron. But iron does have a very slight orangeness to it. Speaking of slight orangeness, there's a very severe orange. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very weird choice to make coal glow. There's, there's iron right there. As you can see, sort of slightly irony color. Oh, geez, even some lapis becker as well. We found we found the god chunk. Just nothing but ores. Oh, hello. Man, at least all that digging was worth it. By the time we got to where the ores were, they're all in one place. and say, let's just be real careful about how we handle this. Probably going to lose that. Nope. All right. That's all the non-precious stuff handled. Last of this. Inventory space. Sure am. Yeah. Now then, let's make some room for some diamonds. Let's 
six, only six. Oh, I guess that makes sense because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not actually using fortune, am I? God, it's been so long since I've mined diamonds with anything without fortune on it. <laughs> oh well, six I'll take. And we got the stack of iron I was looking for, so we're going to call this a success. A success. Um, do you love it? Let me throw soil at it. Hey, throwing soil on a fire is a legitimate firefighting technique. All right. Potting soil even better because it's already kind of moist. But throwing soil or sand on top of a fire when you don't have another option is a completely legitimate and, and you know, fire safety taught technique. Don't you fucking judge me for throwing dirt at lava. If it works, it works. Right, who was that to follow, by the way? Mr. Cheese, hello, thank you. Yeah, it's one of those mining expeditions where you suddenly realize, oh yeah, I went, I went quite away, didn't I? And you have to trudge back. You get lost in the rhythm. You didn't realize how far you've gone. This should be the end. Yep. Oh. Is that slime? Oh, it's just a little guy. Did I leave you behind last time? Sorry, boy. Didn't mean to leave you all alone. Is that single player? It is at the moment. I did make the world open to letting people join if it's something we wanted to do down the line, but yeah. I'm all I'm lonesome right now. All right, let's just be carefully because it does appear to be nighttime out there. I was going to say, this cat looks like a baby llama. It is a fucking baby llama. I didn't know they were that small. I've never seen them eye to eye before. They look ridiculously small. <laughs> Alright, you guys are just interested in my villagers. You seem to be free of creepers. You guys alright? It's just one guy jittering in the doorway. Can't sleep. No bed. <laughs> Lava is technically not fire. Well, you know what? Trees are not technically square either, so just, just fuck off. Minecraft. Deal with it. Zoink. Probably. Just do the gold and regular furnace. And then we don't need to do that. Now then. Crystals. Put all the lumpy stuff away. I guess slimes will go in organics. Sure do. Oh look! We got uh, a sec. That is the sound of a gift sub! Thank you very much, Paul Mininovus, for gifting us up to Slappy. Sorry, Five Lappy. Is it pronounced Five Lappy or Slappy? Could be either way. You never know with these, you kids and your weird names. Right. Uh, I was going to say, hey, look, we've got enough slime to make a slime box. So let's have a look what that looks like. <gasps> oh, it looks it looks like what if the Borg made Jello? <laughs> I love it. We're going to... Uh, I'll patch it. Oh, it doesn't look as good inside. We need it out in the sun. 
You know what? I'm going to put it back on here for now. I was saving this plinth for our traditional Tower of Pimps, but for now, just because it looks cool. But Borg Jelly, exactly. And I, I do realize I said je uh, Jello just then as a concession for our American friends. But in Australia, we do in fact call it Jelly. I know in America, when you say Jelly, what you mean is jam or conserve of some kind, but the rest of the world, the, the solid wibbly dessert thing that hospitals give you, it's jelly. Now then, we have another SKP. Or possibly another baby, but he grew up outside while we were down mining. I cannot imagine how they're getting out of here besides spawning under the side of the fence when they breed. Oh, there's one, two guys in here. Nope, he's an escapee. There should have been three guys in here. How are you getting out? I don't understand how they're getting out. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe they're popping out of bed and going through the wall. And then that's a thing that can sometimes... Although, I don't think that was a jo uh, bedrock thing. That was a Java thing that tended to happen. Don't know whether that ever happened in... Uh, so yeah, let's... Um... Let's, let's do something about that. Let's go ahead and get some, what do you reckon, polished andesite? He made a beeline for that gap. <laughs> I bet you they're popping out of bed through the corners or something. No cleverness from you, please. That looks quite good, actually, that combination of materials. I don't mind that. Yeah. All right, let's go get a boat and make sure this other guy stays safe. Should have a spare boat, shouldn't I? Do not. It's all right. We can make one. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he's he's running. He's going for the ocean. Where are you going, dude? I'm so far from the village. Uh, oh, what a pain in the ass. Now I have to try and get level ground for him to get across here. That'll do. Let's try this in F5 this time. It'll have to be easier. Row, row, row your boat gently across the dirt. Upper body. Hercules strength. Derp, derp, derp. Polished on the side, oddly reflective. Yeah, I mean, it is polished, so you'd expect it to be a bit shiny. We should make the shiny version of the other stone, see how it looks. Alright, this place doesn't have a door, but that's fine. Get rid of that bed so you don't pop out through the wall like your friends. Just need to keep you safe. But we're ready to use you.
Yeah, quite nice. It's just reflective enough to do a little bit of a mirror. Like it. It's amazing how you can probably get the air like that. I mean, I'm very strong. Look at the size of my arms. Look at it. Oh, whoops, don't want that. I want this. Wait, how am I... How am I not... How did I not line up any... Uh, granite? Or did I put it away already? Yeah, it's just... Oh, I think it's about the same reflectivity. Yeah, pretty much identical reflectivity. Just that soft reflection of polished stone. It's actually really well done. Actually, that's another accidental nice color choice too. The, uh, the red and the cold stone look really nice together. And the two warm colors here look... Now they're quite nice together. Completely incidental and accidental, but I love that combination. Hm. Alright, don't have enough to finish the job, so we can make the ladder or something else. Uh, oh, and we haven't tried the die right yet, have we? Uh, nope, dirt doesn't go there, thank you. Let's have a look here. You know what? I reckon it'll look good against these as well. We'll try the other com combination we haven't done yet. Hmm. Don't, love that. Don't like that combination as much. Oh, it's alright. Doesn't look as good as those two. Uh, and again, yeah. It's got that just on the edge of reflectivity mirrorness going on here. Oh, and I can see in the reflection the sun's going down. <laughs> what am I doing? Wood. Alright, I'm going to shut that door. I'm going to wait for the night to sleep and then I'm going to take a quick break because we have gone... 20 minutes over the 2 hour mark, I tend to aim for between breaks on these. But I do want to wait till night time so we don't have a whole bunch of zombies spawning around the village while I fill up my water bottle. Oh, actually, while the sun's setting. Yeah, there we go. You can see the green cast coming through the, the, uh, the ball cube. Lovely. Not all resource packs do that with coloured materials uh, for RTX. So it's real nice when they do do that. Happens with this too, with the portal frame. As the light comes through it, you can see the purple. Catching on the edge of the sand there. Oh, and even way over there too. Look at that. You can see the sun coming through the portal even way over here. <laughs> Oh, we got another baby over there. He's got, he's got, he got all grouchy because he couldn't get out. Um, <laughs> reflection is the best part of MCRTX. Um, I mean, yes. <sighs> reflection or just... I think refraction is, is better. The, the reflection and refraction is... Is my favourite part. Oh look, sunrise too. There we go. It's an even stronger look at it. Um, but yeah, that that stuff I enjoy slightly more than reflections. Just having light move through things and behave properly. Uh, looks like we slept a bit too late. We've got some creepers over there. We'll leave them be for the moment. They should be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Right, so. No, nope, I was going to say, did we lose another adult? But no, he's just sleeping in. I didn't even know they could choose to do that. He's just like, fuck it. 
I'm in it. I've got no work to do. I'm staying in bed today. I don't feel good. I actually suddenly did feel slightly good. He had some green sparkles above him. What could he possibly be doing lying in bed that would make him feel good enough to level up? I thought this was a kid's game. Another color mix cycle. Only four eggs? Really? Oh, okay. Our collection system is not nearly as good as I thought it was. I thought we were going to lose one or two eggs, but looks like we're going to have to do something about this. We're losing a lot of eggs. Okay, um, I guess the thing to do would be to release them into the pen, replace the bottom part with full blocks, and uh, see if that gets us anywhere. No shit! Don't blow up my chickens! Son of a bitch. And I'm not carrying anything with which to block up. Fuck's <laughs> oh, sake. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? I'll just leave that creeper alone. There's no way he'll come over here. I believe those were my words. There it is. It's alright. They won't be too hard to gather up again. I'll just pull out the seeds. <sighs> Creeper did a good job of it, though. That was a maximum explosion right there. to get angry stink lines from a hopper was it just some rude refraction thing from you is the glass being weird no oh, it happened again what's going on I think whatever entity makes up the little grouchy clouds that come out of the villages is being refracted or reflected in this glass because of some weird aspect of RTX not knowing how to handle that particular entity properly. That was kooky. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to need to make this too high, aren't we? Otherwise, it won't work. And I'll put some sort of ladder on this side or staircase so I can climb up there and throw eggs in. It's not going to look nearly as native as I wanted this to look, but yeah, we can't we can't be losing that many eggs. I was okay with losing a few, but not that many. All right, come on, boys. Or girls, I guess. What the hell? That's so weird. Oh. 
Oh, I'm getting a hole. There you go. Come on. Pull down. There you go. There you go. Shove. Shove. Come on. Behave. There you go. Alright. One more. Over this way, friend. Come on. Here, chook, 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 chook. There you go, buddy. Come on. One step towards me. Get in the hole, you stubborn shithead. Thank you. Alright, that'll do. We can make up the rest with eggs. Let's see. These fences on top of this can look weird. What's up, Llama? You want in? There you go. Actually, looks kind of cool. And yeah, those fences are fine. What we might do is extend that roof out over those, but leave this side open so I can still throw eggs in there to, re uh, to spawn up. All right, where's my house? Oh, the baby llama grew up and is suffocating. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> of course, that noise. Who's suffocating? Yeah, I didn't think about that when I saw it down there. When he grew up, he was going to have a bad time. Cats are fine. They don't get any bigger than that. That's right, I got my eye on you guys. No more funny business. It's funny. I wonder how that llama got out. Oh, he must have gone down that one. I thought everything here was too, too high, so he wouldn't be able to walk out. Easy. There we go. So I should be able to throw eggs against that, and any chooks will fly back or just drift uh, down. Alright, um, which means I probably won't need that to actually climb up there anymore. We can just go chunk, chunk, chunk. Yeah, looks kooky, but not drastically out of place. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest of this. Just to make it look like it was supposed to be like that. That's fine. Alright, let's try it. Clean up time. We don't need this anymore. Um, all right, let's let's fill this up properly. Doing. All right. Got up to use the bathroom. Came back to a big creeper hole. What have you done? What I did was ignore a creeper because he was outside of the village and I thought, what could possibly go wrong? He won't come into the village. And then he came to the village while I was messing with my chooks. And he blew a hole in the side of my chook pen and all the chooks escaped. Luckily, chooks are easy to deal with than villagers are, so it wasn't a huge problem. It was just kind of mildly annoying. Kind of a bit of karma, I suppose, come back to bite me. Um, ooh, I'm going to need a few more acacia logs if I'm going to fix that up. I 
Supposed to go through my head. Nope. No links in chat. Just a blanket rule. Saves me for having to answer that question for everybody else. Just everybody gets to know. That means I don't have to make any decisions and nobody gets upset because I let someone else post a clip but didn't didn't let, let them post a link. Because I'm either too lazy and or having too much fun playing a video game to make decisions about what links are safe. Nothing personal. You can, however, join the Discord. Uh, I'll post it in there, I think. Oh, no, wait. Only subs get uh, link uh, privileges in, in Discord because, again, just trying to keep things safe. So nobody plays the dickhead. You know what people are like. Can't trust them. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of the stair. And we'll make the step up with these instead. Yeah, there we go. Now, what else do you reckon we can put in here? Well, I guess we've got some slimes now. We can make a lead and sort of leash one of these wild llamas in here. Just for funsies. Where is that skeleton noise coming from? Mm, can't see anything. Shall I assume I'm safe? That creeper made me pay for that assumption. I'm going to assume I'm safe. Right, uh, that iron should be well done by now. So, let's have a look here. Eight. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder... Anvil. I need an anvil, don't I? This is an anvil to make. Uh, it's one of those things I always forget the recipe for because you almost never need to build many of them. Here we go. Ready for one of my favorite sounds in the game? Right. How expensive is this pick to repair? Two diamonds to repair it all the way up instead of spending three for a new one and then rolling the odds on the enchant. I'll take it. Um, I think I'm okay with iron axe and iron shovel for the immediate future. A diamond sword's holding up. Shall we save these or should we make a... You know, I'm not going to worry about armor yet because we're... We're not in any super hostile shit right yet, so we'll save the diamonds for tools for the moment. Also, remember, um, what was it? Remember 20 minutes ago when I said I should take a break? I'm going to take a quick break right now. It'll only be a couple of minutes. Just need to refill my water bottle. And uh, toggle the recording for when this goes on YouTube. I don't want it to be too long a video, do we? BRBs! <laughs> 